Man, oh man, there must be some people that were fortunate enough to get the copy of the game early, and my goodness, they must be so butthurt right now. What's up, guys? It's Jack, and welcome back to another video. And so, in case for those of you guys that haven't heard, Sledgehammer Games has recently revealed that there were, there's going to be a little patch on day one that will allow you access to the game, basically, as soon as it gets released. Because as of right now, if someone has the game early they've been fortunate enough to to get the game early by some means or whatnot or they just decided to lay down a whole bunch of money to be able to get the game earlier from from somewhere well turns out they will not be able to access the game until the rest of us do which is gonna be uh, at midnight on Thursday or should I say Monday or uh, uh, Friday at midnight <laughs> Man, and all I have to say, first of all, the sledgehammer is, I have to say, bravo. That's, uh, that's actually a really good move. It's never been done before in any Call of Duty. There's always leaks. And let me take you back to about, what, three years ago when Advanced Warfare was released. Uh, I, like most other people, were extremely excited for Advanced Warfare. And just days before the game was released, there were people streaming it. They were playing locally. I don't think they were playing on uh, online. Uh, they were playing locally, if I remember correctly, and uh, there was revealed that there was a DNA bomb and all the maps and the way Pick 13 works and the weapons and all that kind of stuff. All that was revealed. So the game was, in a sense, spoiled, but Sledgehammer is actually really kind-hearted. I mean, they, they took the guy's stream down or whatnot, but I don't think, to my, uh, to my, uh, to my memory, I could be wrong, but I don't think there was anything, like, major done. I don't think they, like, you know pressed any legal charges against the guy or whatnot uh, although they probably could have but uh, I don't think uh, Sledgehammer Activision did that but uh, you know the guy's stream ended up being taken down but the but it was already done I mean the guy was just interested in he wasn't interested in like uh, in you know putting a name out there for himself or anything he just wanted uh, he just wanted everybody to see the game before the game came out so they knew what they were in for or whatnot and he was a big fan and he just wanted to show everybody the game that's all so but uh, but at the same time, the damage was done. It was it was it was leaked already. People had seen it, and there you go. So uh, right now, the fact that Sledgehammer you know took the steps in order to do this and they and they did it right is uh, is actually really good because we're gonna be going on to seeing the game or to pl be playing the game without uh, without pretty much knowing anything more than we already do. And everything that we already do, most of it is theory. There's been a couple pictures here and there that have been uh, that have been leaked. Some some from the uh, PC beta files. Uh, some were from a magazine as of recently. But uh, anything more than that, the nitty gritty. I mean, um, that's you know we 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 just don't we just don't know as much as we normally would around this time before release. So that's actually really good. I think that'll get us to enjoy the game more. And I want to say that this is a good sign, but why is it a good sign? But for beyond the obvious reasons, there's there's another reason why, and that is because well, what if Sledgehammer took this philosophy and applied it to the rest of the game, or at least as much as they possibly could, right? Because as we know, there was there was a lot of changes made from the week one beta to the week two beta, so. And a lot of fans were more pleased with the with the changes that they made and the improvements to the beta. So, uh, and that was just in a week time period. So, can you imagine what they've done? You know, since they had like what a, a couple months or so or something like that before the game officially releases now, really, really soon. Uh, can you imagine the changes that they've made then? And it's already been it's already been revealed that the maps are going to be small. Or small to medium size, which is actually a good thing. It's going to keep the the pace of the game high, which is really good because there's a lot of people out there that are worried that the game might be too slow paced. I mean, if the pacing is going to be like Black Ops 2, for instance, I think we're in for uh, for a treat. So, and everything beyond that is just uh, you know well, we'll see. But the base game is what matters. So if they've applied this philosophy to the rest of the game, whether that means kill streaks, whether that means you know, just changing the game in, in, in little ways to make it better, then all I have to say is bravo to Sledgehammer. And these are the kind of developers, and it also shows that they're, they've already shown that they're the developers that are very community friendly already. Um, again, it just so happens that not everything is 100% in their hands because there's, you know, I mean, Activision is, is uh, are the ones that they have that they have to answer to as well so 
and then Activision, you know, I mean, I mean we've this has already been discussed, so I don't want to go into that, but um but yeah, overall it's a good sign. It is a good sign because there's a lot of speculation right now. Uh, and for the most part, it's mixed feelings. There's a lot of people out there that are saying that the game is amazing. Like some pros are saying it's amazing, but as we know, the pros, uh, the, the pro game and pubs are uh, are different. A lot, they have a lot in common, but they're but they're also very different. It's like playing two different games. And at the same time, there are also there's just mixed opinions everywhere. But if uh, if the changes to the game if they made the, those changes correctly I think a lot more people are gonna be uh, more satisfied with the game obviously you can't satisfy everybody but in theory if this kind of philosophy was taken into the development and the changing of the things in the game that needed to be changed for the better such as let's say powering score streaks making them stronger then bravo to sledgehammer and it's less than a week away and uh, a lot of people are excited a lot of people are kinda nervous but uh, but it's an exciting time. It's a Call of Duty release, and uh, get hyped. So, anyway, guys, that's all I got for this one, and I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary. Uh, let me know what's your opinion. Do you guys agree with this? Do you disagree? What do you, what do you think about this patch? So, let it be known down in the comment section. As always, if you liked the video, let me know. And if you didn't, let me know what I could do to make my videos better. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.